What's up there, YouTube? This year, I'll stay like it. OG back again with another Telltale Games, The Wolf Among Us. We're continuing off the series from episode 3, got episode 4. I've been too lazy because, you know, I recently told you in the last one, I've been busy watching anime, and if you're an anime freak like me, you, you just can't watch one episode. You gotta watch continuous series up. You gotta continue the series of the whatever you're watching, like whatever, Sword Art, Naruto, um, can't remember the one with the pirates. <laughs> Uh, other than that, but yeah, I've, I've been stuck in watching those. So, other than that, we're just going to start off episode 4. We're at the very beginning of it, I should assume. And I really don't remember what's going on, but hopefully they give us the recap like all the other ones. So, I highly doubt they wouldn't give us a recap. So, time to freshen up on what I had forgotten about The Wolf if Among Us. can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. Simple as that. Okay. Do you have any idea how much it costs uh, to have an entire family in glamour? I can't that was, finish the That's mirror. really early. Okay, that one's later on. You must have taken a sharp with Can't remember that. The open arms. This is where we find a dead body. Thanks, Bigby. And oh, yeah, sh for she works at too. the the bang house, that's what we'll call it. You do this to me? He thinks I was having he thinks I, I was having sex with her. We find him. I don't think he did it. What? She believes him. Adam, do you really think this man murdered these women? Oh, and I get shot up like a mofo in here. I remember. Oh yeah, and I totally flip out and turn into a werewolf, and I could have killed him. I could have killed him, but you know what? I didn't. You owe me your life, fucker. Oh yeah, that's okay. Bloody Mary if I remember right. Well this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really. I mean it. We're getting close to the end of the uh, series now and hoping I'm oh. wondering who this guy could be. If we could figure out something. Wait, I wasn't paying attention. Did you say long live the queen? Who's the queen? Or in this case probably a king, I don't know. Hmm, probably some evil witch or a bitch if it is queen. But right now we're loading up and hopefully you could dive into this and have some fun. Hopefully. Oh. Hey, computer's doing something. Uh, it's doing a cleanup on its own. It is still loading. What is it loading now? Okay, there you go. Yeah, I got all bandaged up. I think this is right after I got shot and where I flip shit. Or no, I don't remember. How's that script? Oh, so I'm assuming this is where Snow dragged me. Oh, what the fuck? What the? F Wait a second. This. Oh, okay. Hollow <laughs> point bullets are a nasty business. Okay, there you go. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. So is that a bad thing? If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. <sighs> Easy there. Try not to move. Man, that, that is not even right. Ooh! I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. What about my arm? Yes, very ugly, but not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Stupid shotguns. I took a lot of those. Oh, come on, don't move. Don't move, buddy. That is just nasty. A bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. I can? Oh. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, okay. Time to get. Time to do it again. This is bad. Okay. Round two. This is so disgusting. This is just wrong. Oh. I did it! I'm a doctor! 
which is also still disgusting. Hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's I'm lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I need to I become Wolverine. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. No, give me some adamantium, and this will be all cool. I don't need to worry about silver. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with it. Yeah, having someone breathing over your shoulder while you're taking out shrapnel out of a werewolf. Bigby couldn't be awkward. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind. Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. How much shrapnel's... Oh, wait. Did I take, like, what, eight shots from a shotgun filled with silver and a bullet? Hey, Doc, or just one how much bullet? Longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. What the oh. fuck? This is not... I'm not a turtle! Right and I don't need to be sewn up oh, right now. Really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open. <laughs> that would be helpful. I like how the doctor is so calm about this. There, all done. Are you sure that's Ready. all of it? This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. And, well, this time. Oh, wow. This time was no joke. You bandaged me up real this quick, man. Good job. You, you, get, you should get a blue ribbon for that. Round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you the morgue. Wait. Miss White. What do I do now? Fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. Sorry about yawning. I woke up from a nap, so I feel all energetic. Take care of him, please. Okay. I look so messed rest, up. I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Wait, Clearly. I don't think anyone would believe me about taking care of myself, though. They say, Miss White, Sheriff. And I think about it. Colin, Swiney. <laughs> I don't think they have a good, uh, good past at each other. Oh my God. I am messed up. So, how do you, um, feel? Really? It's Big B, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I mm. see him get worse. Not much worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well, then. <laughs> Best pig ever. Enough said. I'm glad you're not dead. I don't know if that's supposed to be... I, I don't know how to take that, honestly. I don't know if that would be a good thing or a bad thing. You stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out or... Or died, I, I guess. I was just unconscious. <laughs> Probably. It, Maybe dead. Um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. Oh. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him. He's never worried. And even he thought you were... Oh. I don't know. It was just... Oh, awful. I know where this is going to go. No, I'd never leave you. Tell him how you feel, Big B. Yeah, you were really fucked up. Oh my god. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Pig, you are such a terrible person. I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried mm. about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. I'm just saying those Tweedles owe me their lives. Because I could have yeah. killed them. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. Mm. What do you mean? 
You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm going to let Bloody Mary just murder him. It was a split. I'm still Sunday, alive. I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. All right. Uh, I'm not faulting you. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. Th right now, like, processing all this in my mind, I'm trying to figure out which one's the best op no option to say. Thanks. You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Well, I'm alive, so I gotta be... He's got snow under his thumb. We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice well, in the matter. Of course I'm pissed, but... What's done is done. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just mm. a loan shark. But clearly, what? he's operating in other circles. It can't yes. just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? What? Is this all about the murders? What's something that the crooked man is hiding? So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what Swineheart said, okay? God dang it. Heal faster. Declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought. But we don't even have an army. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed mm. it because our way Next, of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. Which way is the right way, though? The right way. What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Truth. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We I'm curious. haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dry. By the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm what the hell? The arbiter of sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into... It can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Wait a second. We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. The truth, I'm with you. Well, if that's the case... Please explain to Colin why ripping Thren's arm off was necessary. Well, see. Uh. Uh. You I just let up until the fight is finished. He was, he was still a threat, and that's all there is to it. Sure. God Look, dang! I knew ripping that I arm would be a pain in the ass. Just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. The Just best partnership and ever and is a man and his pig. Particularly a werewolf I'm and his pig. That's all I'm going to say for okay. right now. It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor... I need your respect. Son of a bitch. You're asking and a lot. This situation has to end. What situation? Wait a second. All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, wait a se wait second. second. Are you going to let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. He hasn't He's done anything wrong, though. Wait. That's not going to happen. Yes, it will. Wait. It's an impossible rule. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? The truth. There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses really? for. Really? Really? Okay. I find this... I find this really messed up now. This is just stupid. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay. I'll let him know. Snow's a bitch. Just letting you guys know. waiting in your office right now. 
She's on the rag. Nurse, FYI. That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. I would love to know what that meant. <laughs> Wait a second. The slightest. Take it back. Okay. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. You should. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. I'm keep aye, aye, Captain. I'm keeping my pig, you bitch. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? No, you're my pig. I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah, you're my pig. Plus, oh, if I run out of bacon. Thanks, Bigby. If I run out of bacon, I need you. You're there for me. Mr. Piggy. This is Office Lacrin. Hey, what's this? Oh, there's a giant there was a giant shoe in that painting. And I'm still torn up like a motherfucker. Security office Bigby Wolf. Oh. Oh, it's that girl. I thought it was the other one. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Can I skip this? No, that's paused. Can I no that's escape. Dang it. Nope, apparently we do gotta watch it. There is no skipping through this. So all I'm saying is, for the time being, I think that Snow is gonna be mad with power, or gonna be mad with the rules. Have you guys ever seen some situations, like in some shows or stuff, or animes in a way, where you got that person so dictated about the rules that you can't even do nothing, and they become a dictator. That's all I'm saying. And she gets rid of my pig, I'll eat her. Both ways. <laughs> but, yep, now we're with this Narissa chick who has some stuff that we need to know about. So, we got a Mad Snow, uh, a pig that we have in backup just in case we need extra bacon, and now we have a stripper inside my office. This is nice to know. Hi. He says a stripper. I'm not really sure. Or she's the, as you can say, escorts. That's how, I don't know. Maybe she's just a stripper. I don't know. I'm confused. Okay, she gets a big old smile. She knows something. Hopefully there's no hitting cameras or microphones that snow planted in here. I have cigarettes all over the place. I, um, are you okay? Oh, look, it's Mr. Pig in the background. Night. I wasn't sure you'd be. You know, around. Let's just say I've been better. Oh wait, see, there's Mr. Pig back there, right over his shoulder. Oh, oh, he also has puff and puffs. <laughs> Not many people smoke those. Are you serious? Okay, let's see. There you go. That's a subtle answer right there. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. I feel like there's a there's spell over them still to this day. Break. So not just while you're at work, huh? What's going on? I, mean, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, with the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me, and sent me to the open arms. She found a Maybe loophole in again. the trick. You can try. I just... Go ahead. It might work. Okay, here we go. Oh, it was too late. Crap. This isn't gonna work if you don't ask anything. Crap! I and again, who knows if it'll work anyway. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. Okay. Are you trying to I, get it? 
I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Hmm. Let's see. What I want to know if it's making any sense. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. Uh -huh. And I... I don't have any left. So this is about them. It is! So I hope you're looking after yours. <gasps> are you? Wait. Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? She, oh, she's trying to put this... I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. Oh, no. I need you to know I want to help, but 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 your lips are sealed. Sealed with what magic is this? So should I suspect it's one of my friends? I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. No, I want to know now. I'm just driving me crazy. I'm to say it. Ribbons. Fate four one two. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It was... It is beautiful. Okay. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? What's the ribbon? What's about the ribbon? Wait, what is it about the ribbon? Something I can do about it. No, it was your seal. What? Something about. Just stay back. Wait, it's something with the ribbon. You can't do that. What? Slow down. It's all right. You're not gonna do anything. Okay. Something's up with the ribbon. Please don't. <sighs> okay. So that was a ticky time, Bob. I was about to just remove it right yeah. off the bat. Okay, what? What happens? Do they die? If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably snow. Listen, Sherrick. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Can you keep this conversation between us? <laughs> I could be in a lot of trouble. I okay. won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Thank won't tell anyone about your magical ribbons either. I was getting a private dance. It's not what it looks like. Wait, that doesn't Sorry. help. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. Oh, they her said face they just to talk flipped. To you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. What? I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. She just put a lot of emphasis on that go. We're going. That's what we're doing. That was uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. <laughs> but I'm just throwing this what out there right now. Is that you Snow is a good person and she was wearing a white coat like it was all white and it? blue. Oh crap! I went. I didn't click anything. But she, now she's wearing black, and now she's in power. So I feel like something okay. might. This might be a sign of something. Might be something bad in the future. I'm so not really sure. About Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night uh, and they're scared about? What's I can't say anything about Nerissa. So. Even if there isn't much to it, it's still our You still gotta take that hint that we got from it's that Nerissa girl. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. Mm-hmm. And what she did she say? For financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do and 
And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Would she have to go? Work for the Crooked Man? You don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We mm. need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? Who's in the elevator? Because I swear to God. Oh, okay, never mind. I have other matters to attend to. Okay, so I'm finding Snow really sketchy now. Something's really off about her. I don't know what it is. Probably just me being paranoid, but you know, something might be up. Not really sure. But a lot of stuff hap has been happening. So we need to keep that in mind. Wait. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret? I'm gonna wait and see if anything. What it was. You know what was going on, do you? I had to get a job. Okay, they're just talking about a job, so I'm just gonna knock. To make it into something it wasn't. That's not knocking, that's banging. Oh. Oh, his face is still messed up. on doors you call right or uh was it you why would i call you what the hell did i do it to you man i don't even do anything i've had a shitty night you think you're the only one and i really don't want to deal with the runaround snow said you called and wanted to talk to me well i didn't call must have been beauty she's been surprising me a lot lately okay nice. so have you Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. Well, the way that you're taking this is ridiculous. Who is it? Who's there? V? Are you gonna let me in or what? Come on. He's one angry cookie. I can't do anything it's at this moment. Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. Got some nice digs around here. Oh, check this place out. This place is pretty cool. Mm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're oh. going to make a problem out of this. Oh, look. Oh, this. Look at this painting. To bring him into the studio. Oh, look at this. Talk about living out of past. Oh, that's beautiful. And What's this? Run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course he did. He was keeping secrets for you. What was that for? One little thing. Do you want to keep talking about that? Or do you want Don't break it. <laughs> Got to touch everything. This on our own. You didn't have to bring it here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. Oh. So they're desperate. The electric bill is for that thing. But we need to talk. Oh. Okay. Sorry. It's been a long night. So they're out of money and they need something. You know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. You don't need to be a dick, I man. Come on now. Your place? It looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Please. No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Oh, just nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but... That's really not I was just complimenting, man. Damn. Snow told me you went to her for some this Tesseron levels are above the, the Raging Bull. That's all I'm going to say. I didn't know what else to do. So we should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Screw it. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. Come on, just tell me. Spit it out. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? Okay. What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us. Oh, shit. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little piece I'll of be your cannon fodder if you could just tell me what's going on. Only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means detail. No more stonewalling. Yep. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. I could get you guys to a safe place. A certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. 
and we got in over our heads. So you guys worked the crooked man. Hmm. Who would we be if we just lived like? That explains all the stuff around here, because you guys worked for the crooked man. That's how it is. And now your guys' faces are like should just hit the fan. Really? Uh, let me just uh... A day at the beach? Skiing afloat? Hey, you're not <laughs> done yet. I should... Right now, so leave a message at the beach Wait. We'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> that... Humanly possible. That voicemail, though. Oh my god. Uh-oh. So consider yourself out of warning. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Cuz next time I'm making a house call. Wait, who is this? The crooked man's going to get his one way or another. Hmm. You guys got a lot of explaining to do. Come on, just let it all out. Just tell Big Daddy Big B. Who do I talk to? Where do I go? You guys can't lie yourselves out of this now. The Lucky Pond. That's where I borrowed the money. The Lucky Pond. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who's Jersey? Who do you deal with? Jersey. You know. The Jersey Devil. What the oh, hell? Yeah. That's oh, prick! I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out, probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. That oh, man. so that's what Maybe the Tweedles probably do then. Fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Why would what the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes Fable sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. Do you? You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money. You don't have. Well, that's over now. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. You guys. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pond. Okay. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. Wait a second. I want to get you guys in trouble. What would I say? Do you know that butcher shop? Okay, it's what about it? on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, Gotta slow at this. Delivering packages from there for a while. Okay. But the thing is, it's for the crooked man. Oh, packages for the crooked man. And What's inside there? I don't think it's meat in the packages. Oh. Y you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. Well, what are you? What's going on there? How does this fit into okay. the crooked man's operation? I Something's don't. not right. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. So when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She Mary. said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. Shit. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know. I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's doing. This is right really to sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just 
wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. That's understandable. I can go with it. have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Oh. No. Probably not. You just went there, you dick. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Okay. What are my options? What do I get to go with? Okay, the lucky... P mm, this is a toughie. So, we can either choose to go to the lucky pond or the butcher. But before that, I'm ending the episode right here. Sorry for you guys. But other than that, hope you guys like this episode. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe for your comment. Content, not comment. I'm stupid. This has been 36 mi minutes of episode 4 of The Wolf Among Us. So, yep. Next episode will be about the Lucky Pond or the Butcher Shop. So, deuces.